The Out Foxies is a masterpiece. Now I know that word gets thrown around so much these days that it's become practically meaningless, but in this case I think it's warranted. In short, this game does everything right. The graphics are terrific, the story is interesting, the gameplay is exciting and intense, and if you play this game I guarantee you that you'll have fun. In fact, the only thing I don't understand is why this game wasn't more popular back in 1994. This game should have been a blockbuster, but for whatever reasons, it sank without a trace. So let's get into it. The Out Foxies for the Arcade. Now before I begin, I just want to show you how terrific this cast of characters is. There's John Smith, the man who would do almost anything to get money, and he's the least wackiest character in the cast. Professor Ching, a paralyzed Chinese scientist with a powered wheelchair that attacks you. Tweeb, an intelligent chimp hitman who works for Bananas. And no, I didn't make that shit up, he's literally a playable character in the game. Eve, a former starlet and thief who looks like Avril Lavigne on crack. Bernard White, a bioengineer who lost one of his hands in an accident and now has a metal one. Danny and Demi, twin kid assassins who look like refugees in the village of the damned and Betty Doe, an ex-assassin and CEO of a big company who looks like she should be on the cover of Red Book. I'm only going to fight a battle or two just to show you the basics of the game. And for this first one, I'm going to choose... I think I'll choose Dwee because I like the idea of fighting as a chimp. <laughs> I like how he throws a banana at the screen. That's funny. So Mr. Acme assigns you to take out these six other people, or seven if you count Danny and Demi, and you get paid each time you fight them and beat them. So you start out at one side of the screen, your enemy starts out the other, and once the battle begins, it's anything goes. Now first off, I just want to point out how beautiful these graphics look. For a 1994 arcade game, they look very good. I just love the way the environments look realistic, with all the stairways and doorways, and these environments are free roaming. You can go almost anywhere in the, in the friggin' level. And not only will you go almost anywhere, the game will force you to go down levels and knock you down, as you'll see later on. The controls in this game are very simple. You can move in any direction, and there's three buttons. One does jumping, one does attacking, and the third one I'm not sure exactly what it does. I haven't found out yet. But in any case, it's very easy to play this game. I mean, you can pick it up and figure out how to fight about five minutes, maybe less, not even that much. The game is just so user-friendly that anybody can play this game and have fun doing it. One of my most favorite aspects of this game are the destructible environments. As you can see here, pieces of the floor and glass fall on their characters, and they can damage both people, which is quite nice and very fair, I think. And as you can see here, the water from the barrels above both characters fell down and it's knocking them back and forth, and sometimes it can even knock them into that electrical field and hurt them that way. And in addition to the destructible environments, I love how many different weapons that the game gives you. In one other game, can you use a pie, a gun, a machine gun, hot soup, a fruit basket, a sword, a whip? I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface of how many weapons this game gives you. It's like you can use almost anything around you to kill your enemy with. I mean, you can do almost anything to your enemy in this game. You can shoot them, you can punch them, you can stab them, you can set them on fire, you can blow them up. You can even throw a box at them. Well, I couldn't throw a box at them here, but... See, <laughs> the fucking box goes right in his forehead. You can throw a grenade at him. And yeah, take that, you fuck. This game is just so much fun. Another thing I really like about this game is the random element of chance. You can be way ahead of your enemy in terms of energy, and all it takes is one or two accidents. You can fall off something, or something can fall on you, or hit you, or knock you down, or you can blow yourself up with your own grenade, and that's it. You'll lose anyway. I just love the randomness of it. It's just so wacky and wild and unpredictable. When you go into a battle, you will not know if you'll win. And how many fighting games can you really say that? Like here, I got a whole shitload of damage taken off me just from that helicopter going down. This is one of the few games I know where it's actually as much fun to lose as it is to win. You can't say that about a lot of games. About my only real complaint with the game is that the camera can get a little confusing sometimes. As you can see, it's going up and down, it's a little shaky, and it zooms in and out. But when you think about it, it actually makes sense because the action is so chaotic that a roaming camera is about the only way you can capture it all. And once you play the game for a few minutes, you'll get used to it. It's really not that bad. Boy, that was fast. Didn't 
think I'd win that fast. <laughs> I like how he puts the cartoon on, too. So anyway, at the end of the match, you have to get um, the hospital bill, and that takes away from your reward. Now, some people might be disturbed by the fact that the little kids in this game are killing other people and getting hurt and killed themselves. But to be honest, I don't think the violence in this game is that bad. In fact, it's so over the top that how can anybody take it seriously? Unless there's some kind of Jack Thompson twat tarp wannabe. I could go on for another hour or two singing this game's praises and showing you how great all the other levels are. But to be honest, I don't want to spoil it for you. In fact, I think the less information you have about this game, the better your playing experience is going to be. Because when I first played this game, I went in totally blind. I had no clue what the hell this game was about. But by the time I finished it, I was just so happy. I mean, I literally was smiling at the end of this game. And I just don't want to spoil it for you, like I said. So go out there and play this game. It's really worth it. So, in conclusion, if anybody from Namco's out there, please make a sequel to the Outfoxies. I don't care what the fuck you have to do to do it. Port it over to the Xbox 360, the Wii, or the PS3. Do what they did with Mega Man 9. Just make the same game, but with more levels and more characters. Just do it. Christ, you guys could make a fucking mint if you bring this game back. It's just that good. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching. Take that, you fuck.